Hi folks, it's been a while since I did any kind of a video for you. I am rinsing after steaming and pressing 18 scarves. I'm working with an ivory background with very intense royal blue and cyan blue dye with a lot of resist work. Trying to get these all rinsed in a safe way so that the blue does not bleed back on the scarves. What I did was set up here at my mudroom sink station and I first began by rinsing out all of the excess dye from the scarves, trying to keep that silk very, very flat as I run it under the water. It's not as if I stretch it to stay flat, but the point of this being that I'm trying to eliminate any kind of bleed back onto that ivory background and getting all of that pre-rinsed dye out that was excess dye from the steam set process that could not bond to the fiber. This does not mean that the scarf is going to be faded in any way. This is a really natural part of silk painting. You just, you have to rinse out excess dye. That, that's just a normal part of the process. I first rinsed them in my sink here and I got my washing machine going on the gentle cycle with very tepid water. I put some textile detergent in the washing machine and really just set the washing machine up to agitate right and it's it's so convenient because it's right here next to my mudroom sink. And I hop over here, throw them in the washing machine on gentle cycle. And I have a really old washing machine from 1995, I think is when it was brand new. My whole point in doing that is I had 18 to rinse. So trying to deal one scarf at a time through the entire process of rinsing is just too laborious. It would have taken me three days to rinse all these and way too much water. I'm first doing a pre-rinse in the sink and then I threw them in my washing machine, kept the washing machine agitating with Synthropol and I just kept resetting the time on the machine so it would just gently agitate, keep those scarves moving in that detergent in that water. I rinsed all 18 of them. There are two more in the steamer. I'm doing 20 total. I'll rinse those by hand tomorrow. I then created a rinse bath back in my sink and added to that rinse bath a little bit of hair conditioner and that hair conditioner helps to neutralize any soap that's in the fiber of the scarf and it also brings back all of that soft supple sheen to the satin and then I set up here on my table layers and layers and layers of towels. I've taken the scarves out much, much wetter from the sink than I normally would. I don't want the scarves to get too dry because I like to press my scarves when they're still a little bit damp. They press up nice and shiny. All of that sheen on the satin comes back when I handle them this way. So they were much, much wetter going down onto these towels and I just layered them up. I had nine towels put a towel on top, flipped the whole thing over so that the scarves that I had rinsed first were then on top ready to be pressed as I'm assuming that the scarves of course that are on the bottom have dried more than the scarves that are on the top because I had just rinsed them. So I'm in the process now of pressing. I just heard my steamer go off. So those last two scarves are probably about done steaming now and I'm making two loaves of sourdough bread that are rising on the counter now. <laughs> so I feel a little bit like I've bit off more than I could chew today, but here we go. All that's left is adding fireflies, signature, doing the hand rolled hem, boxing them up. They'll be ready to go. That's all I have for now. If you have questions about that rinsing process, you silk painters out there, feel free to drop me a line. See ya. Have a great day.